Hello, it's Anne from Herrick District Library here with another little video tutorial on how to make our little racing inchworm toys. These are kind of a lot of fun, I think. And also, look how cute they are. Let's get started. Okay, so we don't need very many materials to make these little inchworms, so you can make gobs of them with any kind of paper you have at home. I used a piece of origami paper that I had left over. Um, but you can use pretty much any paper. And we want to cut a, a strip uh, of the paper. I use a ruler just because I find it easier to cut a straight line if I have a line to follow. So I put my ruler down. It's about an inch and a half wide or so, but again, it doesn't need to be perfect. And it can be, you can experiment with how wide you want your, your little caterpillars to be, or your inchworms. And then just cut out that little strip. And now comes the folding. We are going to fold the strip in half and make a crease. So short end to short end. Fold it and make a crease in the middle. And that's gonna be our guide for where our next folds will be. Now we're gonna open it back up and then fold each end to the middle to line up at that crease. So this end, fold up to the crease, and then this one, fold up to meet it in the middle. And we're going to do that again with the folded edges now. Again, we're going to fold them towards the middle to meet in the middle. A little harder to do. It takes a little bit of finagling because that paper wants to slip around sometimes. So fold both of those up into the middle. And then we're actually going to fold that directly in half again to prepare us for cutting a little bit of shape into our inchworms. So just fold the whole thing in half just like that. And then we're gonna give a little shape. We're gonna cut just a little bit of a curve off of the corners of our inchworm to give it that sort of inchwormy look, little bumps. So again, doesn't need to be perfect by any means. Just cut a little bit of a round shape off of each end. And then we're going to unfold everything carefully. And we're gonna see our little inchworm take some shape here. Oop, little extra there, just gonna trim that off. And now we've got a little arched inchworm. Pretty cute. Nice arch there. That's what's gonna help him inch. And if you want to, you can draw a face on. I thought it was pretty cute to have a face, so I just went ahead and did a super simple face, but whatever works for you, it's your project. You get to do what you'd like. I thought he would be a very cute little inchworm if I gave him just little eyes and a little smile. And now to make him inch. So he's all arched up in the middle and we want to use little puffs of air through a straw to just push it the middle down so that it forces him to kind of flatten out just a little bit and then he'll spring back up on his folds and you keep inching him forward um it's hard to find the right angle at first or at least it was for me i wound up blowing my poor inchworm just clear across the desk but once you find the right angle and the right amount of force there he goes inch 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 pretty easy right and i don't know i just think it's really fun to watch them when you start blowing with your straw once you figure out the right angle that you just bump, move, make them inch instead of like blowing them across the desk like I did those first couple times. It's fun to watch them inch along. Um, if you have someone that you can race against, good luck. Off to the races and may the best inchworm win. <laughs> 